So, ever since I did this tank, there's been something I've hated about it. That. The reflection. Of a wavy background. That I didn't bother putting on right in the first place. I know you always get reflection. Right there, you get reflection. That's good reflection. That, that's just... I can deal with that because I can shut the blinds. But when it's like that, you're just constantly getting Shrek reflected back out of you. I wouldn't mind so much if I still look like, whoop, continuity error. <laughs> See if you can spot it. I wouldn't mind if I looked 20 again and I was a good looking man, but I'm not. I look like Shrek. And at least I get my face on camera the better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the background and come up with something better, more matte, instead of that shine. Hopefully that alleviates some of that reflection. First of all, we'll take off the old one, eh? I've just got it taped on. Hopefully it's a lot easier to come off than what it was to put on. One bit of tape, Sparky's tape. Ta da! I just need to try and get one off the back. It's that tight. I can't even get my fingers in. Whew! Thank God for that! Actually, have a look at that. It looks pretty good without one. I know the reflection's still there. But <laughs> that is a nice colour. I would say the white background, but it looks green through the glass. And that's always an option the way I'm going. So that's where I've had to pull it from, from back there. I was fully expecting the Garami to come out. I lost a Garami. Oh, probably about six months ago. No sign of it anyway. And I thought it's got to went down the back of the tank. Never ever found it. But more than likely, it's probably jumped out the tank this way and the dogs found it straight away and edit. <laughs> Probably, that's more than likely. Well, I thought I might have found one. But I am quite impressed with that colour background. Like, Drop us a comment, just let us know what you think. That colour background or the black colour? You know what? The more I'm looking at that, the more I'm loving it. Thing is, I've started painting it downstairs prior to actually Pulling it off and having a look. Not the one cell. <laughs> Always have to take it back to them at the beginning before you start again. Because I do like that. Thing is, I've started now. So drop us a comment. Tell us if you like this colour background or this one. The black one. The original one. So the first thing you want to do mark out and cut out. So next, we'll get a coat of paint on. We'll wait till they dry, then give them a second coat. And second coat. Third coat, done. So, there we go. And a few coats on, just done one side because now I'm going to insulate them. Coming from a colder climate, then most years, if I insulate the back of them, it stops the heat transfer through to the wall. So if I get some of that and stick that on there. I just use a little bit of Sparky's tape to keep that in place. So you know, I'll use a bit of Sparky's tape. If it finally decides to start, I'll take two. Take watching the Benny Hill show this. Huh? <laughs> 
And I'll just put a couple little bits on, keep that in place. So it doesn't move around. Right, it's not the best place to do it on a, on a furry rug. Right, Gorilla Tape. So like I say, this should stop the radiation of the heat leaving the tank and heating up the wall behind. <laughs> and it's at this part of the video I'd like to ask you to subscribe, like, and do all that funky stuff. Uh, like and subscribe if you want to. Just appreciate me watching the video. So, there we go. Here's one done. It's insulated Reflectix on the back. So I'll just get cracking with the next one. The side one. So, there you have it. Insulated backboards that I can change the design of. Go to the fish shop, buy designs, stick them on, slide them in. Interchangeable. And that's all we really want in this hobby is options. Options. <coughs> Let me just say go in. Holds that one in place. Beautiful. Oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> While messing around, I found them RGB light bars from an old tank that I had many moons ago and I just turn it on by that I don't need these before two seconds <laughs> would you believe from last night to this morning the RGB little light is packed in so I'll put a picture in or video in at the end to show you what it looked like with the RGB on. So I had a poll and the poll said over you know, 80% of the votes that is preferred the black background. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. The black background back in effect. So that's it. Basically, there's the tank. 
Um, drop us a quick comment. Tell us if you still prefer the black to the natural. I'm still in like that. With the RGB, like that quite later because it was doing like moonlighting it. I could change like a sunset effect cascading down the wall. I guess I'll put that in next. Uh, but that's it. Here's my background. Now, if I was a clever person, I would paint plants on the black background. That's what my mum was going to do before she died. He was going to do that for us, but obviously cancer took over. I couldn't really ask her. You know what I mean? A bit selfish. I aware of in a final hour asking if she can quickly paint this for us. So, who knows? I may give it a go. Not yet, though. I'm going to just live with it for a bit, see what it's like. But that hair's got rid of a lot of that shine off the back. And it's still shine there. But indeed, with that, that's off the front of the glass reflected through. Well, I've just stuck one of them light bars on the top of the tank shining down the back. And I have to see it. It's not everyone's cup of tea, but to give us options. So if you've liked this video, perhaps you'd like to give us a subscribe or a like. Tell you up to you. Don't have to if you don't want to. It's up to you. Hit that button there if you wanted to do it though. Okay. Until next time, have fun, enjoy your aquariums, and ta-da!